Hey there everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video on Roblox Trendy. If you've ever wondered about creating your own game while playing addictive games on Roblox, then it's time you learn how to do it and make other players get obsessed with your game. Roblox comes with a Roblox installer that has easy game builders to get started with your own game. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on a single thing. Alright, let's get into it. In order to start, you'll first and foremost need to download the basic interface required to create any Roblox game. Once you have Roblox Studio installed, you're already one step closer to making the game of your dreams. You can translate your imagination in the form of a Roblox world and design game models with the features that will allow you to build and code. The Roblox Studio comes with templates that can be used to start a game, but you can also choose a base plate template to start building the obstacle course. There are three main panels that you must take into account, the Explore panel, Toolbox, and Properties. The Explore tab is used to see everything that's in the world game, so when you open the workplace you can see all the things you've worked with to build your world. The Properties tab determine how it should look and how it should act when the game begins. For example, the colors and shapes could be controlled through it. The Toolbox can be used to make models that other people have built for the website, and these can help make your Roblox world more realistic. For example, taking a tree from the toolbox to create a forest. First of all, select the base plate and turn the size to 20 studs by 2 studs by 20 studs. 2 centimeters will be the depth. Now, the base plate is basically the spawn place where the players will arrive when they start in the game. Change the colors to whatever you want and the surface type to your choice from the properties. You can duplicate the base plate in the explorer bar or press Ctrl D to resize the clone on top of the original base plate using the scale tool. And then you can utilize the move tool to make the borders of the base. You can also use the rotate tool to turn the border 180 degrees or simply press Ctrl R. Now simply choose the spawn square from the module tab and resize it according to your heart's desire. Voila! The spawn area is done. Once you're done designing the spawn area, let's move ahead and start building our first obstacle. Issue another path of the same height and width of the borders and then separate it from the borders. Move, Rotate, Select, and Scale tools are very helpful when making the obstacles for resizing or rescale the models. Make sure all obstacles are anchored if you don't want them to fall in the sky and remain afloat. The color tool can be used to make the game more visually appealing, and Roblox offers an extensive color palette to choose from. You can then group the separate objects by clicking Ctrl G to group them into one model, which makes moving around easy when designing the final game. Scripting allows you to bring your paths to life. It allows you to tell the Roblox game to do something, and it'll do just that for you. However, it does require simple coding. All you need to do on your side is right-click on the path and then go to Scripts. Roblox uses a special programming language called Lua, which is not very difficult to learn. Once the code is executed, the scripts are supposed to run normally on their own. Scripts are basically the core of game creation on Roblox Studio. All of the games on the side have multiple scripts running at the same time to make the game more invigorating and exciting for the players. Scripts can be used to give directions to the obstacles to kill slash obliterate slash promote the players when they come in contact with it. Once you're done designing your Roblox game, as hard or easy as you wish to go with the obstacles, the next thing to do is publish your game so everyone can enjoy your creativity. The steps to publish are simple. Go to File and select Publish on Roblox As. Once you click, it will load the places you can publish, so click on Create New. Name your game, make it creative, and then make sure you select the privacy to public and choose the maximum number of players your game allows at a time. Also, you should add a snapshot of the game to intrigue the player. See if you want to enable the VIP servers or even sell the game. Once everything is selected, click on Create and wait for the game to get uploaded onto the site. It'll then give you the link that will take you directly to your game on the Roblox site. Now, you can play your own game on Roblox. This brings us to the end of our video. We do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let us know by liking the video. Stick around for more amazing content as we will soon be seeing you in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.